Marissa, when we first met, you didn't even notice me in Ryan's basement, but I noticed you. I knew I had to make you mine. From that day on, I used all my tricks for you to notice, and it worked. Now look at us. Oh, God. Tomorrow you'll be my wife. That's so crazy to think. You bring out the best in me, and I'm so thankful for having you. I promise to love you every day for the rest of my life. Oh, I can't wait to see how beautiful you look tomorrow. You will make the best bride. I'm so lucky. I love you with all my heart, and I can't wait to say I do. Love always, Matt. Matthew. Take you, Marissa. Take you, Marissa. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and bad. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you. I will love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Remember that the real act of marriage takes place in your heart, not in this ballroom or a church. It's a choice that you make not just on your wedding day, but over and over again each day. You make each other better and bring out the best in one another. There is nothing that you can't accomplish together. I can't tell you how happy I am for the both of you. You know, the Romans once believed that the wedding ring should be worn with the fourth finger of the left hand. The exact finger has a vein that leads directly to the heart. Now some might think that doesn't exist, but when you look at these two uh, great people, there's no doubt that the love that they have is something very special. Marissa, I've never seen you so happy. I can see it in your eyes, I can see it in your smile, and most of all, I can see it in your heart. I realize I will never be the number one man in your life again. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Just every now and then over the next 30, 40 years, maybe we can go on my team or two. I think everything will be okay. Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Lewis.